My hang is empty because I didn't hang anything. Everything is still in the bag. So am I whooper? Am I whooper? Am I whooper? Cool. You don't need to worry about this. I'll hang up the clothes though when I show you lot. But yeah, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope lockdown is not getting everyone losing their minds. I hope lockdown is not, you know, having everybody discombobulated. I hope lockdown is not just just getting you down like guys find a way to just keep yourself active keep yourself busy find a way like start that new plan start that new um what do you call it start that new business idea start that new dream like whatever it is that goal go for it get better qualifications just keep yourself busy just take this lockdown period as a blessing even though it doesn't look like it take it as a blessing and get whatever you've been procrastinating done simple as period i'm just gonna jump straight into this video as you can probably tell by the name do i even know the facts about the video i need to get my phone hold on guys okay guys i'm back so why am i shaking okay keep still this is why i don't like having my phone i might put my phone on silent because that's everything Broom, noises emails unnecessary emails like noises people that don't know when to leave you alone People don't ever call on my phone when I'm not busy, when I'm not doing anything. But when I say, let me be productive, that's when people want to be messaging me. Like, go away. Especially people that you do. You know when you get messages from people that you don't want to see? Like, have you ever have you ever gotten a message from someone, yeah, that is just like, when you see the message, your whole mood changes. Like, you could make wake up one sunny day like this. The weather is amazing. The weather is lovely. And then you just get that one notification from that one somebody to my bear to my dis disturb bo emotions bo bo mood there. Like have you ever like brav those messages there like don't come and dampen, don't come and put rain on my sunshine. Have you don't come and rain on my sunshine you won't be. But so um jumping right back into this video, I got sent a few pieces from lovely wholesale, shout out to them. Um they sent me a few pieces to try out and like obviously see how I like it like uh, duh but yeah to try them out I got four, I got sent four, Jesus I got sent four pieces and I was told to like wear it and see how I feel about it you know get my own little opinion um I'll put a, um, a screenshot of their page here um their Instagram page here and then I'll probably, maybe if I find out where they're based or what their origin is, I'll put that on the screen as well. But uh, the company's not UK based. And you know when you're in UK and you're trying to order sizes that are out of the country, is a bit tricky. Especially them sizes that they say XL, L, XXL. Different people have different measurements of those sizes. So I was a bit worried about ordering, I mean about getting some pieces from them. And me basically finding out that it doesn't fit call me like oh my god disappointing do you get it like it would be so disappointing to get some clothes from them and it doesn't fit me so i was a bit worried about the sizes so in terms of my um size with them i was between i think it was a 2xl and a 3xl and in the uk to us that's probably like what a 20 22 24 so i, I get worried when i order from places that are outside of the country because their sizes their measurements different shape and going by centimeters i don't go around carrying tape through measuring my arms measuring my legs measuring my waist do you get what i mean so it's more of a guessing game the one thing that i can say i definitely definitely realized about their website was that their website has a lot of bright clothing and obviously right now we're in what winter slash spring we're going into spring so it's still kind of a bit weird to be wearing bright stuff right now so maybe i could have gotten better stuff or i should have chosen better stuff but um in terms of if you're preparing for summer and hopefully fingers crossed touch wood do i have wood here yeah i have wood to my mirror touch wood they see efficiency body yes mom 
Yes, mom. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. They release us. They release us for summer, so we can do baby girl, baby boy lifestyle. So we can live our best lives. Like, uh, I'm tired of being indoors twenty four seven without me saying I want to, without my consent. Do you get? So yeah guys, I am tired of being stuck indoors, so I'm hoping they release us in summer and I'll say a lot of these clothings, you can probably wear it on holiday. But yeah, I'm going to get right into this video because I've been waffling and I, I'm going to let you know what I think. So, a lot. Okay guys, so I have put the clothes, I've laid the clothes out. As you can see, they're bright, like I said, they're bright colours. If you're feeling bold, then why not? Go for it. <laughs> why not but obviously if you don't like bright colors then this might not be for you but everybody everybody that knows me knows i like bright colors S go away leave me alone <laughs> people don't understand yeah i might put my phone on don't disturb I might put my phone on airplane mode. This is the first one I got. It's a bit of a, I don't know what it's called. I think it's, Az, is it Aztec print? It's an Aztec print. It's quite bright. It's orange, like neon orange at the back. And it's got Az, Aztec print on the front. Then what really intrigued me to this um, dress in particular was the way it had cutouts. So the second one. It's got a low V-neck. It's a bodycon dress. And the one thing I, I know I definitely did and I made sure to do is pick everything stretchy i feel like this is a tip quick tip quick quick tip for us big girls if you're worried about anything and you really like it or whatnot or you really want a dress and you're scared that oh is it gonna fit always make sure you pick something stretchy always get a fabric that's stretchy this is the third um, third one this one is a is a bit bold as well it's a bold one let me check is this the front or the back i don't even know I think this is the back because of the line at the front, the um, the stitching at the front. So the back is literally, uh, it looks like a, a, a paint, um, you know when you splash paint like Art Attack? You know, when you grew up watching CBBC, Art Attack, it looks like the, the logo of Art Attack, like they splash paint on it. But it's got that print at the back and a bit on the side of the front. And then it's got a zip as well, a long zip. So it's meant to be like a, a turtleneck, it's meant to get up to hair like it's a long maxi dress but it's also like fitted so is is it medexi what the medex medexi i think medexi in one way what do they call it medexi i think that's what it's called or how you pronounce it last but not least the one i got from them was literally a simple black um flare leg jumpsuit you can never go wrong with one of these because it's literally you can dress it up you can dress it down it's simple so these are pretty much all i got i'm gonna quickly try them on for you and let you know how i feel about them so i'll be right back this is the first dress i really like this dress um so it's basically like tribal vibes it's giving me tribal vibes then i feel like with the braids we look come together all makes sense all papa all mesh like all of it makes sense it comes together, it really looks cute. Obviously the back is bright, like it's a bit bright in my opinion. I feel like if this was the print all around, it would probably be, it would just turn it up a notch or two. But I really like this. I really like the fact that um, at the bottom as well, so I'm gonna put a side by side kind of thing for you lot to see. But at the bottom as well, it's got like a little, like a little, like a little um, cut. I most likely advise you to wear strapless but like me I'm wearing straps but I just literally tucked one arm in and it still works for me um, the fabric I would say is is kind of a molecular you can probably see like what you're wearing underneath you might not be able to see the color but back is just like drawing a lot of attention in it so I wouldn't suggest you wearing it in this country because you just be looking like one rainbow like one colorful looking like all the colors on the rainbow you know in this dull dull land of rain of doom like darkness god forbid darkness but just dull what a, like a, such a dull country you're just gonna waste a good dress a perfectly good dress also guys i forgot to mention um the one thing i will say about the dress is that it gathers along the side 
so it rides up eventually once you wear it over time but then once it rides up it it gathers hair i don't know if you can see this like all of this extra material extra space so really and truly it should be quite smooth but because the dress rides up i don't know if it's that like i've got it maybe too big but because the dress rides up it then gathers along here and the more i pull it down the more the side like the side that is off the shoulder like literally comes off so that's my only thing that i'll say would be quite annoying but yeah other than that i'll say this dress maybe out of 10 i rate it what a good seven because i really like it obviously the back is a bit bright in my opinion like it's too bright for my liking but i like the front like love the front and then i like the design of it being off the shoulder but yeah so guys i will be back with my next dress I'll okay like guys so this is the second dress um it's similar design to the first one i feel like the prints are quite similar but not exactly the same um both of them were midi dresses both of them are long sleeve and then it's got the low v-neck detailing as well i feel like it's a really cute dress the back as well is all printed so i like this dress because the back is all printed the only one thing that i'll say about this dress as well is that like i said the fabric is very very light very soft but i feel like it's cute and it's an all right length it's not too long the bottom of the dress is not cuffing me like you know me i like my dress to be i like my dress i like like you know but it's just that it's a bit slack at the bottom for us especially for a bodycon dress it's a bit slack but also it could be a good thing but i think it's probably because i got the wrong size because if i pull the dress up a bit if i pull the dress up a bit around my thigh around my thigh it looks a bit better like it's, you can still wear this casually but also i feel like it can be worn in the nightlife as well so i really like this one i think this is cute and i feel like you can change the look of it by just pulling by just pulling up the dress completely changes the look um out of 10 i rate this one a good eight compared to that one and just because i like how the print is all the way around so i feel like it's not doing too much i like how the print is all the way around i also like that i have both my arms covered because i don't like showing my arms so i really like this dress i feel like this is more me compared to that one i would most likely wear this one on holiday than wearing this one the first one so guys i'll be back with my um next dress that's the third this is the third one like i said i went picking i don't know why all the dresses I picked were bright colours. I feel like it's just me. Like anybody that knows me, anything about me is bright. Like everything I wear, makeup bright, bright. I like bright stuff. So I was drawn to the bright. Oh, I am a donut. Oh my god, this is so cool. Obviously, I've worn this already, guys. So I just wanted to make sure that it fits me. So I wore them already. But I didn't realise that the I always wanted something that one of these kind of dresses that have the arm thing. So basically, it's got the arm thing where you can I said the arm thing, your the hand thing where you can stick your thumb through the hole. I find these so cool. I'm such a neek, like I'm such a child. But I don't know why it is. But I really like these dresses that you can stick your hands through. Or even if it's jumpsuits, I like that you can stick your hand through. So the only thing that I'll say is that, like I said, I think I went picking the wrong size. So if you are similar to my body type, I would say maybe size down. Because look at how, how much I have to pull back the thing just for it to like look, you know, reasonable on my hands. And then it's really, really um, loose as well around the wrist. On this occasion, this dress is not revealing. It is literally giving me cover up everything is covered so the focus on this dress and the focus of you in this dress will be your shape that coca-cola bottle shape you know the curves that's what will be the focus in this dress because it has covered everything up but it is fitted like i said i think i basically i didn't want to risk it i didn't want to go and get a size too small and it doesn't fit so i kind of did overly size up should i say but if you are my body type and you like the dresses that i'm wearing i would suggest maybe sizing down if you want them really really fitted because on me they are a bit baggy once again as well this dress is very light the fabrics are very very light i don't know if you can see that they're very very thin so you can 
see any detailing so any like underwear any shapewear that you wear underneath will show so that's the one thing that i'll say i find annoying about this dress as well like we understand that we're wearing shapewear we don't need the whole world to know we're wearing shapewear don't shame us in public shame us in private do you get what i mean don't em embarrass us do you get me don't embarrass us in public so i don't need the whole world knowing that what i'm wearing underneath or I'm wearing this type of underwear underneath you get what I mean so I would say the only thing that I find annoying about the dresses so far is that the fabrics are really light and they can see all the prints underneath but other than that I feel like this dress is cute as well but in out of 10 I'll probably rate this one a 7 as well I feel like it's really cute it's bright as well good for holiday as well because of the bright colors so it's another look is a long dress as well so it really covers you body so if you don't like showing your body at all then it will be a nice dress for you it's fitted as well so you know it's fit, it's fitted as well so it makes your shape look nice this is how it looks from the back this is how it looks from the back i really like this as well like it's really i don't know it's just cute but yeah this is the third one i'll be back with the fourth outfit okay guys so last but not least is this jumpsuit not gonna lie i actually really like this jumpsuit i liked how it looked on the model so i was like you know let me try my luck but i really like this jumpsuit so the only con i will say is that the straps are really thin like bearing in mind one i think i got the biggest size but this bigger size is still a bit too i can't even pull it up any higher i've been trying to pull it up but I can't pull it up any higher than this. But yeah, it's just a bit small for me. So I feel like it's put it's putting a lot of strength on the straps. Because it's thin as well. The straps are very, 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 very small. So with uh, too much movement, I feel like the straps could break. Maybe if they made the straps a bit bigger. Also, the bottom is flare. Which I feel like is very, 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 very um, ideal for plus size females. Especially if you don't like your calves. Like me, my calves are big. So I like to sometimes, even though I like to wear fitted stuff, I like to sometimes wear stuff that are quite loose. So with this, it gives me shape around my waist. And it cuffs me in the right places. But also it's flare at the bottom. And then it's not too, too long. Obviously right now it's dragging. But I could probably pull up the bottom, the flare part at the bottom, pull it up a bit and it won't drag. But what's also good about it is that because it's long, you can wear it with heels and it won't look like you're swinging. It's not too low, even though I think it's meant to be low. So I think, I think the back was meant to come up a bit higher and then the front go down a bit lower. But because of my bum, it's not happening. So this is how it looks on me. But I really still, I still like it. Like I'll actually wear this in the UK. Because it's black, but also it's a simple jumpsuit that you can wear during summer, like any time during summer. Even springtime, even in winter, you can more or less wear it. Like even this whole lockdown period, how everyone's stuck at home, I could wear this in a house with a little long sweater ca um, cardigan to just cover my arms because obviously it's a bit cold. And that's a look. Out of 10, I feel like I won't fault this too much just because... I don't see anything really really wrong with it the only thing i'll say is annoying about the straps but if i got a bigger size i feel like in general the whole jumpsuit will look nice on me so out of 10 i'll probably give it a eight nine ish it's not did i i just broke it guys i just popped it oh my god i ripped it guys i popped a hole in it how I'm going to stitch it back. I really like this jumpsuit. I'm so sorry. There's no way I'm not stitching it back. I'm going to stitch it back. This is the last one, guys. And seeing as that it is the last one, I might as well end the video with this. So, um, guys, I hope you liked this haul. It's a bit shorter and I feel like it was straight to the point. Obviously, I had worn it already, so I knew what to expect. But um, I really like the majority of the outfits. Um, I feel like a few things could probably be worked on. Like, for us plus-size girls maybe they could have made these thicker like especially this because i'm really upset about this maybe they could have made the straps a bit thicker because it's on the bigger size um other than that i feel like the haul in general was okay um not too bad everything fit a few things were loose but that's probably because i sized wrong 
but other than that I feel like the designs are cute as well it's just that some of the stuff especially the bright stuff I wouldn't wear it in this country just because it is not hot in this country like they tried what, what, what try what try because not a lot of people can say with their chest that they have plus size clothing let's let's just put that out there let's 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 put that out there for them to ponder on it like not a lot of places can say they they cater to the plus size girls so they're trying it's not like, like some places that don't even offer them at all do you get what i mean so uh, yeah let's clap for lovely wholesale round of applause for them them trying and coming through certain outfits obviously these are what i picked maybe other stuff would have been better or your taste might be different from what i've chosen but i just went for the stuff that really caught my eye guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the haul it's a bit of a short one but remember to like comment share subscribe leave a comment let me know let's talk guys uh -uh. don't be shy i'm not gonna hurt you like I'm actually a really nice person guys like I'm really nice so yeah remember to check lovely wholesale they've got a lot of bits and bobs and they have a plus size they have plus sizes as well which is a tick for me anywhere that tries to cater for plus size people always has a, a space in my good books just because you're basically being inclusive you're not leaving us out like not everybody is size zero can we just put that out there not everybody stops at size 14 and not everybody stops at size 12 cater to everybody in the bloody world do you get me but yeah that's that's just another debate we're not even trying to go into that so i'm happy that they reached out to me i didn't even know about the website but now i know about them so if i need something that is not available in this country i know that i can go and check there so us plus size girls we have somewhere else that we can now add to our list of online shopping teak but yeah guys i'm waffling once again and like i said i hope you enjoyed this haul and i will see you lot in my next video bye guys